Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gordon J. Welcome back to another episode on the Golden SP server. And at this episode, episode 8, I believe if I'm wrong, then I'm stupid and wrong right, then I'm smart. Uh at this episode, this is gonna be like an update episode because I have recorded it three freaking days, but I've record I've I've played on the server and uh stuff like that. The reason why I haven't really been recording lately is because I've been busy with schoolwork, I've been busy with family this weekend. I went to Florida, couldn't record at all, but played a lot. I've been busy with the SP, make sure everybody's doing well, make sure everybody's happy and stuff like that i'm not really trying to complain i'm just making sure that you guys know the real reason why i really haven't been recording on the server that much or on youtube period i'm not really trying to complain i'm just trying to make sure you guys know what i've been going through and what has been happening with my life so you guys can further understand why and what and how and when and you know so without further ado guys, let's get to what is this episode going to be about. So in this episode, we're going to be showcasing our army and stuff like that. Just going around, uh, talking about what has been done. After that, we're going to be making ourselves our official storage room. As you can see, uh, these chests here have been clogged up with a bunch of freaking items and stuff like that. And after that, we're actually going to be making a shop. It's going to be an armor shop, OP armor shop for the armor that gets dropped by bosses or the armor that you find in loot crates, etc, etc, or the armor that I even enchant. So let's get on with the video. So first thing I want to showcase is my armor. Right here we have a Merman Helmet Protection 6, I believe, Respiration 5, Thorns 5, let's put that back on. And then we have this Diamond chest plate. we actually enchanted this. This one we got from a boss, this one we enchanted, we got Professor 4, I'm breaking 3, Magic Resistance 5. Uh, right here we actually got this from a boss as well, we got Protection 3, Thorns 5, and this right here is 7 Leaky Books. We got Feather Falling 3, Unbreaking X. Uh, when you put these on, it actually gives you Speed 3, as you can see. That's that's why my FLV is actually supposed to be on 90 because it looks really weird. So now it's on 90, it looks pretty freaking fine right here. Uh, we also got the Sky Sword. I'll show you what that does in a minute. We also got this uh, Spider Whacker gives knockback, whatever that is. <laughs> and then we have a Diamond Sword that we enchant to ourselves. You can read all that. I really don't know what the enchantments do themselves. I imagine Ice uh, slows enemies down. I don't know what Elemental or Water Infuse or Fire Infuse does, but it's nice to have, you know? And then we have this Fortune 6 Unbreaking 5 Dwarf pick that is awesome. That's why we have so many, so many auras right here because we're just that freaking awesome. And then to top it all off, we also have all of this freaking armor and, and stuff that we're going to be selling in the shop for diamonds because we really need to make a profit. Also, since we have two diamonds just leaving out here without combining with diamond blocks, and we actually got these diamonds from a blo uh, boss, we got like five of them or so. I combined three of them with the diamond blocks to make the tenth diamond block. But since we also have two just laying around here, uh, we could go ahead and use these and craft us up a diamond sword, and we can also enchant that diamond sword since we have 40 or so levels, 41 levels to be exact. Uh, here's our enchantment table. Let's see what we get here and strike these three right off the back. Ah, that's pretty bad. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna, you know, you know, that's that's pretty bad. <laughs> we got poison too, which I I guess that's good, I guess. But I'm really saving up my diamonds for something really, really good. It's a new plugin that got into the server that I added into the server. I guess I'll spoil the beans right now. The plugin is uh the plug is actually called D Tool or something like that. But basically, what happens is if you get this awesome, amazing tool, then you can mine a three by three area. It actually made my own custom crafting recipe for everybody else on the server to use. It's really hard to make. Uh, it's actually dealing with a diamond in the middle. I'll actually show you right here. It's a diamond right here, three diamond blocks along, and you got blaze rod, blaze rod, in pearl, and then you have an end chest, and then an end chest, and then you get the thing. Uh, whatever you call it and if you put a shovel there you get a shovel axe axe and whole you know etc etc so i just realized we actually found ourselves a loot crate a while back that gave us a diamond pickaxe a diamond pickaxe what else anything in here that's not enchantment diamond sword diamond sword and i think that's really about it besides those basic tools so we're going to enchant all of these with 38 levels we're probably not going to be able to enchant all of them but let's go with the sword first smite five uh that's elemental four i guess that's cool i'm not sure we got 35 left 
uh, sharpness. That's really good. I'm keeping that one. That's really good. And we got 32 left. Last one, and we get fire and infuse, which is really freaking good, honestly. Uh, if you don't know what fire and infuse is on a pickaxe, basically, if I if I freaking mine an iron ore, then it automatically smelts. That's why I have this in here with Fortune 3. This is Fire Infused 2. What was this one? Fire Infused 3. I don't know if that's really a difference or not, but uh, we'll find out later on. Also, guys, in a later episode, we're going to be making our famous freaking fully automatic wheat farm. And I, I hear a lot of zombies. I don't know where they are. Uh, they're probably like down there or something. But yeah, we're going to make ourselves a fully automatic wheat farm. That's why we have this here. They've been making babies. We just need one of them, and those zombies are really irritating me. I need to find out where they are. There they are. So I guess this is a good, really good time to show you guys what the sky, the sky sword does. So if I come down here, whack away at a zombie, the zombie will start flying up in the air. And once he goes all the way up, he'll just fall down and die from fall damage. I'll do it to those two. Well, he just died. But you, you get the idea. They're basically just going to fall down and die. So I can see it right here. I can literally make it rain mobs if I want it to, guys. I can literally do it. So without further ado, I think it's a good time that we start on our chest room. So for our chest room, I wanted it to be right here out this elevator. If I shift on this elevator, we go down one level, shift again, we go down to another level. Uh, our house is going to be multiple levels, so it could be just freaking awesome. But for our elevator, we want it at 10 blocks here. You see right here, that's 20 blocks. That's 20 blocks from there. So we want our chest room to actually be 10 blocks. So I'm going to have to build up one... That'd be one block right there. Oops, I accidentally jumped on the freaking block. All right, so that would be one right there. All right, so we're at 10 here. So for this chest room, I really don't have any base idea that I want for the actual chest room itself. So we're just going to have to wing it for now. Just to make it a little bit easier for now, I'm just going to probably talk to you guys about something really important and also do a time lapse on the side. So guys, what I really want to talk to you guys about is my 1,500 subscriber special video. As you can see, the subscribers have kind of died down over time. And I know that I said I was going to make myself a new channel. But I've been talking to some of my close friends about my channel and stuff like that. All of them, not even most of them, but like most of night, not even, wait, what did I just say? <laughs> not all of them, most of them, most of them, I'd say about 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10 of them really did say that I shouldn't I shouldn't uh, reset my channel uh, because you know you're always gonna have those active subscribers you're always gonna have that group of people who just subscribe and never get on YouTube ever again to watch your videos or you're just gonna have those people who sees your videos and just slides right past them and saying F you and then if you look at the big youtubers out there in the YouTube community uh, the biggest YouTuber, we all know him, PewDiePie, he has 48 million subscribers. Last time I looked at his channel, he had 48 million subscribers, but he only gets 2 million views of videos. So that means 46 million people in the entire world that have subscribed to him are inactive and do not watch his videos. If you look at that, he's still making YouTube videos. Uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't give a crap about those inactive subscribers either. I just think he enjoys what he does for a living, and that's that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm not going to really care about those inactive subscribers because if they're inactive, subscribers don't care about me then why should I care about them I'm just gonna care about my active subscribers and keep pushing out videos for you guys hopefully you guys enjoy my videos and you enjoy the content that I post and continue to be active so with that being said uh, for this 1,500 subscribers special I will reveal my face from then on out I will have face cams in my videos sad thing I'm gonna have to find me a new screen recorder because fraps does not allow to record the face cam as long as the screen as well so if you guys have any recommendations for a screen recorded please leave those in a comment because I really need I really need me a new screen recorder to do this also I know a lot of youtubers who do this they do giveaways a giveaway is basically giving back to your community giving back to the youtubers uh, giving or not the youtubers giving back to your subscribers who love you and who are you know dedicated to your channel and stuff like that uh, I've been thinking about this giveaway thing and I, I really like the idea I'm probably gonna do a 10 15 20 dollar giveaway uh to people who I, I really don't know <laughs> but this is how the giveaway is gonna go basically there's a website out there i forgot what the website is called but i'm sure i can easily just easily google the website and basically what happens you go to the website and if you're not subscribed to the channel you can subscribe and now give you one entry if you're subscribed to the channel you can 
easily just press the subscribe button and then it'll be like oh he's already subscribed and then you still get the one one entry and i'll probably combine this with another youtuber that way we can both get back to our community so it'll be two gift cards instead of one and whoever gets it will just be a lucky son of a gun to get the gift card I honestly don't have a set date of when I'm actually going to be giving the gift card out or going to be announcing the official Hey, enter to win a $10 gift card. Do this, 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 this. I don't, I don't know when that's actually going to be, but I imagine the way that it's going to go. I'm get the winner and to, to even enter into the contest, you have to be a subscribed, uh, you have to be subscribed. So that means that you have an account. So that means that I can DM you through YouTube. So whoever the winner is, I am going to be DMing them through YouTube and then I can get their Skype from there and then we can trade information. Well, not trade information. I mean, trade Skype. So he has my Skype, I have his Skype and then I can talk to him then i could talk to him about giving him the gift card code he could redeem it he can get the money and he can be happy and you know it's it's not like a uh it's not like a pick or choose thing it's not like i'm actually choosing people's like hey i want to choose you hey I'm, I'm just gonna choose you it's not like that it's all random and it's all by luck so if you're lucky then you're lucky and if you're not then you're not but yeah guys without further ado all i want to tell you guys in the rest of this video thank you thank you thank you thank you for being so active on my channel thank you for clicking on every single video that i have posted thank you for liking if you like that is every single video that i've posted thank you for commenting commenting that is on every single video that i've posted i don't know if i tell you i don't know if i tell you guys this uh, enough or not but I, I really do enjoy it like honestly honestly honest to everything that i believe honest to god honest to my mom honest to my freaking Alrighty guys, we are back and I am officially done with this freaking chest room. Uh, we don't have a lot of materials to use here. All we have is cobblestone. We need to make ourselves a tree farm because I really want to get some wood up and going inside of this chest room. Uh, as you can see that we have organized everything. This is going to be miscellaneous items. I can triple click to uh, organize it a certain way, but I liked it the way it was like that. Uh, so that's miscellaneous. This is going to be... This is going to be slabs, wooden slabs. This is going to be wooden stairs. And then the rest is just going to be everything wood in here that you make out of wood is going to be here. All of the wood is going to be here like wood, uh, birch wood planks or regular planks, wooden, stuff like that. This is going to be stuff that you make out of cobblestone like slabs and stairs and stuff like that. And this is going to be all of our cobblestone. This is going to be our dirt. This is going to be our sand and dirt sand all the way up actually no 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 our dirt is going to be all the way up right here our sand is going to be right here actually yeah i forgot for a second this is going to be all of our ores we got uh, some lapis we got some coal we got some redstone this is going to be our iron and then this right here is going to be our diamond gold and emerald since they're all hard ish to get right here is going to be all of our army that we're going to be selling inside of our shop for the first time uh, this is going to be all of our food, and we have some food on it, so we don't really need to get any food out here. But this is going to be all of our food or plant systems or, or whatever you want to really call it right there. And I'm going to go ahead and get some resources and make my way over to spawn. One thing I wanted to showcase for you guys was actually a, a backpack. Uh, this is a backpack that one of the guys left over for me once they left. Uh, basically, you just put it on your back, and you have this backpack key that opens up the backpack for you. But you can enchant this if you want to, but we I don't have an enchant, I don't know why. But I'm just going to put that on my back just in case our inventory gets full or anything like that. And we're going to get some resources here so we can make our way over to the shopping district and build ourselves a little shop. So I really don't know what I really wanted this shop to really look like. So we're kind of just winging it right now, just trying to get it done. And I want it to look nice. I, I I guess it looks okay so far. I mean, I definitely have done better in the past, but you know, it's it's not that bad. Like it's not horrible. It's not like yeah, what is that? It's not like one of those shops. It doesn't look that bad. It actually looks pretty good. I think it looks kind of. I think it looks kind of cute. You know, like a little bitty shop shop. I think it looks fabulous. I think it looks fine. And if all you hires that out there. I was like, oh, this, this shop is, this shop is boo-boo. F you. Because my shop is beautiful. My shop is beautiful the way it is. Whatever reason why you don't like my shop, then you know what? I don't care. I don't care why you don't like my shop. But we're just going to do the roof. We're doing a roof part. Uh, I want to go with birch. I want to do a combination of wood and stone when I was going with this shop. And this is really, okay. Oh, man. Oh, 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 still got it. That's all that matters. 
But yeah, I wanted to go with a combination of wood and stone with doing this shop. And there's mainly birch around my house, so I was like, why not birch? But I really have no clue what I'm doing right now. Like, like, like it, like, I, I don't know. I really just don't know. But uh, at the end, I think it's going to look awesome at the end. I think it's going to look beautiful at the end. So let's just go over here on this side. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with these pillars, but I'm just going to pillar up. Dang it, I fell. Uh, let's see what it looks like so far. It looks like garbage. That's what it looks like so far. But, you know, everything I make is garbage. <laughs> Everything I make is garbage. So let's just peel up again. Um, let's see. Let's see here. What are we gonna do? Uh, let's add ourselves a little little one of these. I guess this can be our official roof or something. I'm not even sure. So many people are gonna make fun of me for because of this. So many people is gonna be like, your your house sucks. Yeah, <laughs> your shop sucks. I'm not gonna lie. The shop sucks. Like like shop. It looks horrible. I don't know. There's some pretty good builders in this game. I mean, in this in this in this uh, SMP, there's some pretty good builders in this SMP. We got a few people online. Not the most that I've seen online at one time. Really disappointing. But you know, that's why you kicking actors. Haha. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely not the best shop on the server. It's definitely not going to be the best shop on the server either. How many people do we have online? Actually, three, six. We got nine people online. The max people I've ever seen online at one time was twelve, and I wasn't even in the game. I was just. I was doing some plug and stuff on a console and it was like 12 out of 30. I was like, whoa, whoa, we beat our record, whoa, but yeah, uh, I, I'm probably going to hire somebody to do this for me. Like just, just, just buy me a shop. Like that's, that's what people do. Like, like I've, I've known people on this server who's like, Hey, there's this good builder. Why won't I pay him to build my house? Like that's, that's actually happened. Honest, honestly, that's, that's actually actually freaking happened but that's not what I'm talking about like, we need some coal we need coal to make dang someone got blown up by a creeper but we need coal in order to light this bad boy up and let's just go ahead and slab the rest of the floor here all right here we go there 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 and gosh dang it there 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 uh, I guess we could put like some in the corners right there just to add deafen or something just to add something I don't even know just to add like texture I suppose texture or whatever that's 10 people guys that's three six nine that's 10 people wow 10 out of 30 10 out of 30 so this is where our chest is gonna be we're gonna have a chest right there it's just gonna be like OP armor and then like the armor is gonna have certain levels and stuff like that and we're gonna sell them at different prices and the currency on the server is diamonds so that, that's probably really good we're probably gonna make a lot of diamonds off this i feel like a bunch of people are gonna buy armor for some reason for some reason i hope a lot of people buy armor i hope i really do hope uh let's start axe let's get our axe out i hate when that happens bang 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 oh dang it i thought he oh man water bang bang 